Today is the uh, third session of unit three, and this is about stocks and shares. It is claimed that the concept of a stock market was first introduced in France in the 13th century. However, as you already know, the Musharka and Mudarba modes of finance have the basic elements of what is involved in trading of stocks of a modern company. Notwithstanding the fact that Muslims are among the pioneers of profit and loss sharing investments, the current form of a stock market restricts uh, the devout among them from seeking economic bounties from it due to some practices that goes against Islamic law. As a consequence, in spite of religious encouragement for Muslims to seek economic opportunities, they cannot engage wholeheartedly in the trading of con conventional stock markets. Moreover, stock markets that follow the Islamic principles are still in early stages of development. Most of the stock exchanges in Muslim countries are basically Western style markets which tolerate many practices that do not comply with Islamic principles. Moreover, only a handful of stock markets across the globe, such as Khartoum Stock Exchange in Sudan, Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange in Malaysia, and Tehran Stock Exchange in Iran, for example, accommodate for the Islamic law of trading in the stock market. In this session, we will learn about the problematic aspects of conventional practices in the trading of stocks and how Islamic scholars have dealt with these problems.